Hey guys, welcome to the new video of AG Framework. Today we are going to install the Luxu Admin Menu V2 version. So first of all, you need to visit their official website. I will provide you the link in description. After clicking through the link, you can reach to this TBEX webpage. After that, make sure to log in with your CFX ID. As you can see, I am logged in. Then go to the scripts section. Here you can find multiple scripts. Also, you can find the upgrade of V2 Admin. But today we are going to install the Directly V2 version admin panel. So just click on it. Here you can see multiple features and console previews. So first of all, we need to go through the purchase section. Click on Add to Basket. Proceed to checkout. LuxScript provide us some special coupon code through our customers. So after availing our discount coupon code, we will get some extra discount for the purchase. After completing your purchase, the script will be directly on your key master right here. You can see here, you can see, I have the Luxu script, click on download, save it to computer, cut it and paste it to your server resource section and paste it over here. Click on extract here. As you can see, I have already extracted the file here, you can see. So first of all, you need to go to the readme section. If you are finding any issue, you can directly join their Discord server. And for installation, you need to follow their docs section. As you can see, I'm going to the docs here. You can see, first of all, there is the basic requirement of QBQBox and ESX server. Also, the database established on OxMySQL. First of all, installation procedures should be followed there. We need to click on the Start Admin menu after the framework and after other resource. You need to provide your license. Of course, the owner license who had the admin access. You need to provide them. You can select multiple owners, and after that, you can find the binding for this. You can see you can inspect menu, report menu, quick menu, and also the teleportation and last way teleportation, toggle no clip. You can place any binding over there. After that, you need to set up the Discord bot. I'll show you after the installation. So let's go through the configuration section of the script. Here you can see click on config. Here you can find multiple files. Click on config.json. Here you can see you need to first enter the owner license here. I just pasted my license and after that, make sure to use the five manager. I will provide you the guidance for the token generation. After that, you can also change the heading name 5mm community to any of your server name. I will just name it too. And also you can change the logo. For now, I am not going to change this. Also, you can set the Discord link also here. After that, it supports multiple languages. You can change it. But I am okay with the English. After that, you can select the inventory. I will just go for the OX inventory. If you want to use the QB inventory, just paste the QB inventory there and paste this QB inventory image for the web section. So for this instruction, it would be great for my installation. After that, you can enable the report system and external chat system. And also you can enable the custom map images for your own map systems. Here is the multiple command locations and command bindings. You can set it on your default key easily without any issue after that. Just close it. You don't need to change anything, but make sure to follow this additional query system for the SQL injection. After that, close this here. You can find the API to JSON. Open the file here. You can find multiple API for my Discord webhooks and all. First of all, you need to put your Steam API key. I'll show you how can um, it's the basic Steam API key that you are using in your server. IFG section. And here is the five member manager token. So you need to go to the five manager here. You can see then go to the get started, then select your vision, then go to the token, then create new token. Just name any of us. As you can see, I have already created a token name of Luxu. Just copy the token and paste it over here. As you can see, I have pasted already after that you need, you can also enable your bot. I'll just show you the configuration for the bot also. So you need to first go to the here. You can see I am in the Discord developer portal and I am at the application section. You need to create a new application. As you can see, I have already created a new application. After that, you need to go to the installation section. Here you can find the client ID. You just need to copy the ID and paste that for the client. I have already pasted one of my IDs. I don't need to change this. After that, you need to get your token bought. For this, you need to reset it and paste it over there and make sure uh, you can also disable this setting, but make sure to enable these two for the integration. 
after that, you need to give the permission for the, for the bot. I'll just give the administrator. And then for the invitation, you need to go down there, click on bot section, then administrator here. You can see the link. Just paste the link and the bot would be added in your Discord. And same goes to the here. You need to just post the token of bot and the guild of your server. I just copy it and paste it through the developer portal. That's it. You don't need to change anything. You can also disable the bot doing false. That's it. Close the file, then open the SQL section. Here you can find the SQL. Open the SQL, select on all the SQL files, and open your database. After opening it, just paste it on your query section and hit run. It will automatically fit into your database without any issue. Here you can see, and then close your SQL. Close the SQL file also, and that's it. You don't need to change anything until you know what you are doing. That's it. Then just copy the file and paste it to your main directory. Here you can see I have already pasted it in my main directory, so you don't need to change it any again. Now let's see how the Luxu admin works in game. Hey guys here, you can see I am in game, so admin menu is working properly without any issue. So for opening the admin menu, you need to type admin. Also, you can open with your key. Finding here, you can see the players are properly showing how much players and how many slots I am having. Also, the uptime is showing like I am 23 minutes, 29 minutes up. And here you can see the proper home tab system. And you can see I changed the name of the profile and it's changed without any issue. You can also change the profiles also and this logo also. So first of all, you can see the search tab and any announcement tab without any issue. We can execute any type of animation announcement without any issues. Also here, you can see the big map. So first of all, here is the basic working of the map. You can find any of the players from the map with the providing ID. Here you can see I provide them, you provided my ID and it's tracked me. Here I am and without any issue, you can also disable this with heat camps. Here you can see, you can directly view my profile from this with my every details information. I will go through this later. First, we need to show the page. Here you can see this site. You can find all weather conditions and properly that having my server right now. Also, I can change the weather from anything to anywhere. Also, I can make it rain without any issue. After that, you can change the direct server time to any proper time. Just like I have changed to 00, zero means 12. Also, the rain has started and showing the server uptime total unique players is one and also is showing the server GPU as if showing my personal GPU and RAM. So after that here, you can click on the player section in this tab. You can find all the active user for now. I am the solo user and here you can find the full flash detail. Also, you can attach the opacity and also toggle the on duty, off duty for the admin. And here you can see properly showing my character name, showing the status that I am on duty, zero warning using VPN. Everything is properly showing without an issue. All my identifier is showing without an issue with my IPs. Also, also you can see the name, character ID, and date of birth with the phone number. Also, you can manage my account without any issue. Here you can see it's updated. And here's the basic note for the player. Just, I put the note for the testing. You can put any note for this. Here you can see, and it's the basic menu of the player perspective. Starting from the spectate as I am the only one. So I cannot spectate myself after the warning system. Here you can see the programming is properly working. You can also config this setting. Also, also jail system, of course not available for this because I didn't integrate it. Any jail script for now. Also, you can kick or ban player, kill player. Here you can see I am dead and also revive without any issues. Also at the basic slap animations, delete character transactions. If I am having any transaction, it will load. Of course, it's the new character. It don't have any transaction. And the vehicles, of course, I don't have for that. You can set any fled vehicle and give it to the key to anyone. Also the vehicle spawner, as you can see at the T20, and I spawned it without any issues properly working. And for that, I am checking it by clicking admin. Also, you can find here, you can find the controls. After that, you can find the vehicles. Category spawn, vehicle, delete vehicle here. You can see vehicle was deleted inventory that I am having only the money for now. Closing menu, explode, burn, wrecked all the basic update jobs. Send message, teleport. I can do anything with this. 
I can teleport to the mechanic or any default selected location that I want to city center. It can be configured without any issue. And after that, you can control the players, but I am the only one, so I cannot control myself for that. And after that, you can heal the food. Of course, it's full, but still, and after that, you can change the pet to anything. Also, reload the player's pet without any issue, and you can give them any pet that you want to give them. And then we'll go for the monitoring tab. If we have multiple player, we can select them at the same time here. You can see I can control, see the live cam of the footages, teleport options, also the admin commands like warning and anything you can see. After that, you can find the moderation system. You can create anything for using identifier, multiple using Discord license with the reason and duration of day after that. It's a basic chat system. One of the one is the report system here. You can see I, I reported one thing. I just use this to reply them back. And here is the basic stuff, chat. Every player has the sub chat for them and next is the item. It will automatically detect the item of your inventory. Because I have some item without images, that's why it's sometime it's not showing, but main item that I have images, it's showing without any issue. You can directly give them the item without any issues. Then after that, go to the console tab here. You can find the all consoles and resources without any issues there. You can see, and then it is the event tab. If you are having any upcoming event, just provide the event, day, daytime, and that's it. It will automatically list this out. And for now, I'll just put 507. And as you can see, it's listed. I can find any detail with the title in the description. After that, it's the basic staff section. As I am the solo staff, it's showing myself only. You can edit that. Also, previously, you were having the staff group that was the same that I am having, which permission I can directly set it over there. Also, I can equip or clone myself and split it for the item given with the same level system. It has multiple options. Without any issue, you can easily use this. Also, you can directly create a blip. It has already default blip multiples type of default briefs. So you can add any blip. And the most important thing, the statistics it provides you that the all statistics as I am the solo player, only showing one total bank balance that I am having the database retention of player 100% total character, 81, total player, 69, because I am having a whole database with the players, so total players join 69, and they are having 81 characters, and I just warned myself. So only showing one warning. Also players in jail, 02 reports since last two weeks. And here is the all player, all player richness level. Here you can see the player who have the IDs. You can directly copy their names and IDs from the character. Also, you can find the bone and unemployment rate for that. I just placed the database for showing this. Everything here you can see at unemployment is high. As you can see here, you can see police. Job is 18 players are having police job, force butcher builder, and another department also. So after that, it is a basic developer portal. You can directly execute announcement or any execution command for removing prop and all you can directly execute it here. Here you can see, I can just run it and it's so properly run successfully. Hello world. So here you can see it has zero problems. And also I have done anything. It's already triggered there. Also I killed one myself. So also it shows the death and player list. If I am having multiple players or malicious players, any type of. So it can also show there also, it's the all command that I am using previously after that. We are going through the theme section. It are having defaulting multiple themes for now. Here you can see the blue theme midnight and many more. Or also you can enable the dark mode and disable it. There is the basic health section for all your edits and everything. You can get the query. If you are having any issues, you can join my Discord server and ask me without any issue. After that, you can directly provide avatar for this in-game and also you can get the notification when report is open. Also the UI setting you can edit. Proper videos for the video. You can also place the green screen without any issue. After that, we'll close the main panel of admin menu and we'll see the side menu for this command. For this, we will just see that report section. Every player has their own report section with the dark theme. Also here you can see I can report anything with the footages or any report here. You can see images or any video. Audio link, I can directly put it there also. It's also upload the live footage without any issues. As you can see for now, I am not enabled to give the permission.
That's why also because of this, it gives us the live footage without any issues. So after that, close the ticket, confirm it, and then here you can find the quick menu access for the admins. Also, it has a dark mode and light mode. First of all, it's the main menu for reviving yourself. Spawn vehicle, any type of vehicle that you want to spawn. Also, you can use the alt control for triggering this section, opening server time extras, and you can set anything about that. So you can see the player name you can do invisible yourself here. You can see headlights for this section entity, at Inspector. If you are having any type of issues, you can directly pause it here. Here you can see also it has ID Inspector for any type of ads or anything that you want here. You can see properly working without any issues. After that, we will go through the menu again and just close the Entity Inspector. It have Infinity Menu, Night Vision, Thermal Vision. Also, it shows the coordinates live without any issues here. You can see, and then you can disable it and so you can show the split solves. And here is the coordinate history. If you copy any code, it will show the history for now. I'll just go and copy any type of code here. You can see I just copied a code. It shows the history and you can directly copy it without any issue. And also you can clear all the histories properly. And that's it. It has lots of many features with unique things. If you are having any problem, you can join our Discord server. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.